Hello there, nice slice here. Coming at you once again from the Great White North, beautiful British Columbia, Canada. Today we are going to be looking at the Alaska Guide Series 119 Special made exclusively for Cabela's by Buckknife. This has the rosewood handle, S30V steel with black Cerakote on the blade. Let's see what we got. What do we have here? Of course, we have Buck's famous forever warranty. Comes with every Buck knife you purchase, and they will honor that warranty. One of the good things about Buck knife. Alaskan Guide Series. Lists all the features on this knife. A series of knives. This lists all the different models. The 110 Hunter, the 119 Special, which we're going to look at today. 192 Vanguard and the large and small Vantage. A little information on the steel, where it comes from, how it's made, what its properties are. Comparison chart with some of the other steels used by other knife makers, Buck as well. Cerakote, which Buck does in house, they do their own Cerakote now. It's very high quality. A little bit about the Paul Boss heat treating process. Explains their edge. 2x technology and what they do with their edge bevel buck claims their edge bevels are between 14 to 16 degrees so let's just split it down the middle and call it 15 degree edge bevel on each side a little bit on how to care for your knife there's the alaskan guide logo next to the buck knife logo Some tips on how to keep your knife sharp. It's always good to know. Buck does offer lifetime sharpening with the Alaskan Guide Series. Excellent, excellent service. Now let's look at the knife. Very nice burgundy leather sheath. The Alaskan Guide series stamped into the leather. Good quality stitching. Very thick leather sheath. The 119 on the back. Good belt loop there. Riveted, solid construction. And of course, the wraparound button snap, which I'm a big fan of, I like that. There's a quality sheet. This knife is not going anywhere. You could fall down a hillside and this knife is not falling out. We have rosewood handle, very dense, very dense wood. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Brass pommel. My card is spacer, same as the guard brass with the micarta. You can see that my card is spacer in there. You can see how thick that handle is. You can see that very nice wood grain on that rosewood 
beautiful material. This is a six inch clip point blade. There we have the guide series logo once again. Most bucks have a date stamp on them. The Alaska Guide Series does not. Just has buck with the model number and the USA. There is the fuller, which is on both sides of the blade, the very deep clip point. Let's see if we can get that there. You can see that edge. Whoever did the grinding on this one did an excellent job. Would expect no less from the Buck Factory on a knife of this quality. Here you can see the Paul Boss heat treat symbol, the S30V. Once again, there's that nice grind. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Now this logo, when you use this knife, this logo will wear off quite quickly. And I do intend on using this knife this year. So that logo will be gone, hopefully by uh, the end of October. Let's just demonstrate how sharp these Alaskan Series S30V blades are. very thin paper and I'm using no effort whatsoever. It's a razor blade. Now I did bring the OG 119 just for comparison. This is the one everybody recognizes. When they think of buck knife, they think of this. Much lighter, the black phenolic handle, indestructible black phenolic handle. Much, much lighter than the dense rosewood on this knife. A classic, a modern classic. I did also a review earlier on the 192 Vanguard Alaskan Guide Series. Let's put that so the logo is facing up as well. And one I have not yet done a review on, but one of these days I intend to, is the 110 Hunter. Get that in the frame. I would like to give a shout out to all my subscribers and supporters. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. I'd like to say hey to my new friend, Ray. You know who you are. There we have it, the Alaska Guide Series.